Hi, uh, Pat Swearingen for Older Dad. Uh, my comedy experience, I am a instructor, performer at the People's Improv Theater. And I also tour the country in a musical improv group. It's one of my gigs. But uh, yeah, uh, this is Older Dad. <clears throat> if people are getting hotter, then why am I surrounded by so many uggos when I come in from Connecticut on the train, you know? Some mornings, whew, it's like a caravan of mutated gypsies. If people are getting hotter, then why are there so many ugly people on the subway? You know? There really is. It's like they've all been beaten with an ugly stick. And whoever's wielding the stick, that was a union job. You know what I mean. You know, it's, it's cyclical. You know, ugly, hot, hot, ugly. You know, it's like, it's like when you were a kid and you went on a field trip, right? And you get off the bus and sometimes the kids from the other school are, you know, fairly attractive. And then other times, they're not. It's like if there was an Olympic sport for ugly, those kids are on the gold medal squad. You know, it's cyclical. Ugly, hot, ugly, hot. It's like you go to a wedding. It's a crapshoot, right? It's a crapshoot. Sometimes you go to a wedding and everyone looks like they just came off the cover of a magazine, right? And then other times you go to a wedding and you're like, God damn, these people are ugly. I'm sorry, Jim. I said I wasn't going to curse. Dad's bad. Dad's foul. Dad's in the penalty box. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Jim. <clears throat> we were hot back in my day. You know what we didn't do? Change our pronouns. We were hot back in my day. You know what we did? We sat in a lawn chair, we cracked a zima, and we listened to the counting crows, and we were happy. Do I think people are getting hotter? Well... I know there's a certain fella in the mirror every morning who seems to be doing so. <laughs> I told you I'd be funny, Jim. I told you. <laughs> All right, penalty box. <clears throat> How do I handle being so hot? Humility. It's probably my best quality. <laughs> you know, it's just, that's life. You know, you take the good, you take the bad, you take them both. You now you add the facts of life. <clears throat> Should they legislate hotness? Should they do something about it? You know, whenever I'm faced with a moral question like that, I think of my grandfather who served in Korea. God rest his soul. And he had a piece of shrapnel right in his side of his neck. Yeah. And every now and again, he'd get radio signals that you could hear coming out of his right ear. And I said, Grandpa, you ever going to get that fixed? You ever gonna get that shrapnel taken out of your neck so we don't hear radio signals coming out of your ear canal? And he says to me, he says to me, my hand to God, he says, you know what? If it's supposed to be fixed, it'll be fixed. And that's uh, kinda how I think about things. <laughs> Pat Swearingen. <clears throat>